Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Bob Tuohy. And I'm Alicia Pacheco. In today's newscast, we'll discuss upcoming Seton Hall events, your Seton Hall sports, and the five-day forecast. The College of Education and Human Services is seeking nominees for the Monsignor Hanbury CEHS Alumni Mission Award. The Hanbury Mission Award recognizes an alum from the college who embodies the passion for service that Monsignor Hanbury had throughout his life. Nominations for CEH alumni and faculty are open until January 15th. Attend the Digital Humanities Colloquium meeting on December 14th from 5 to 7 p.m. This event is designed for graduate students in the humanities field interested in experimenting with the practical work associated with the digital humanities, including how to get started with blogging, collaboration and technology use. Meetings will take place at the lower level of Walsh Library, while you'll have an opportunity to hear from experts in the field, utilize workshops to create ideas with fellow graduate students, and explore resources for projects. Dinner will be provided. Please RSVP as space is limited. The Seton Hall Christmas Cabaret kicks off its annual holiday performances tonight in the theater in the round at 8 p.m. The cabaret will perform skits and holiday songs tonight, Friday at 8 p.m., Saturday at 8 p.m., and Sunday at 2 p.m. Admission is free. The School of Diplomacy and International Relations is partnering up with the Slave Free Community Project to have a conversation about modern slavery on the global, national, state, and local level and local levels, guided by the expertise of distinguished guests and field experts. Register for the event on the SHU website by searching Slave Free Community Project. The event will take place January 21st from 2 to 4 p.m. in the main lounge of the University Center. And now we'll head over to Keith Egan with your Seton Hall sports update. Keith? Thanks, Bob. The men's basketball team picked up a big win this weekend over number 17 Louisville, which was the first time a non-conference team won at Louisville since 2014. By winning, Seton Hall also was able to get back in the rankings where they now stand at number 19. Seton Hall will be facing off with VCU on Saturday in the Never Forget Tribute Classic at the Prudential Center. On the women's side, the Pirates improved to 6-1 with a win over St. Francis Brooklyn on Sunday. Taylor Brown led scores with 17 points while Jaquan Jackson's four made three-pointers helped her reach a 16-point day. The team will be traveling to in-state rival Rutgers on Friday to look to keep their winning streak going. The game starts at 2 p.m. That's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Now back to Alicia and Bob with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Keith. The Division of Volunteer Efforts, or DUV, is continuing their annual food drive, which collects over 700 pounds of food in just three short weeks for those in need. The food drive is being held until December 19th. Any donation of non-perishable goods may be brought directly to the DUV office, located in the campus ministry in the Boland Hall basement. Seton Hall's choirs, orchestra, and concert band will perform in the annual winter concert next Wednesday at 7 p.m. at the Sopac Theater in South Orange. Admission is free and open to the public. Come on out and hear some great music. And now we'll take it over to Chris Famulero with your five-day forecast. Chris? Thanks, Alicia. My name is Chris Famulero, and this is your five-day forecast. Today, we are looking at sunny skies with a high of 45 and a low of 27. On Friday, we will start to see clouds roll in with a high of 39 and a low of 29. Saturday will continue with partially cloudy skies and a mild high of 40 degrees and a low of 27. The weekend will wrap up with more clouds and a high of 38 and a low dropping down to only 21. The beginning of next week will be partially cloudy again with a high of 39 and a low of 29. And that's going to wrap things up for your five-day forecast. Again, my name is Chris Famulero. Now back to Alicia and Bob with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Chris. Now there are even more ways to stay informed of Seton Hall news and events. Sign up to receive text notifications, no more than four per month. To begin receiving, text SHU Parents to 55000. We will text only the news and events that will keep you in the know. Messages and data rates apply. No More is a campus organization dedicated to preventing sexual violence and sexual misconduct at Seton Hall. The organization is collecting donations for the Jersey Battered Women's Service. No More's Giving Tree can be found on the second floor of the University Center until December 18th. All members of the Seton Hall community are encouraged to donate. And that concludes today's broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Alicia Pacheco. And I'm Bob Tuohy. Thank you for watching and have a great day.